Hey everyone, Ryan here from Foxtech. If you're working with raw photos on your iPad and wondering how to edit them, this video will walk you through the process and give you some app recommendations to get started. Let's jump right in. There are a few solid apps out there for editing raw photos on the iPad, but you'll need to choose one of the available options. First, download and install a RAW Photo Editing app from the App Store. Adobe Lightroom is a popular choice, but keep in mind, it requires a monthly subscription. Whether or not that's worth it to you will depend on how much editing you plan to do. Lightroom is a powerful tool, but it has a few limitations. There's no panorama or HDR stitching, and batch editing could be better. Some of the more advanced masking features are also missing, though you can usually find workarounds. Another app you might want to consider is Snapseed, which also supports raw photo editing and doesn't come with the same subscription fees as Lightroom. It's a solid option for those looking for a free alternative. It's worth noting that not every app will work for RAW photos. For example, Luminar doesn't support raw files on iOS, so you'll want to skip that one. However, apps like Raw Power and Darkroom are excellent choices. Raw Power works seamlessly across Mac, iPhone, and iPad, and it integrates well with Apple's Photos app. Darkroom is another great option. It's fast, simple, and perfect for quick raw edits. Now, let's talk about the general process for editing raw photos on your iPad. First, open the app of your choice and import the RAW photos you want to work with. Once your photos are imported, start by adjusting the basics like exposure, contrast, and white balance. From there, you can move on to more advanced tools like sharpening, noise reduction, or specific color adjustments if needed. Most apps also offer filters or presets, so feel free to use those if they fit your style. Once you're happy with your edits, save or export the photo in the format you need, whether that's JPEG, TIFF, or something else. Be sure to check the saved location to confirm that your edits have been applied correctly. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips like this. See you later.